Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about uh, interiors, architecture, archviz, that kind of stuff and whether you should Maya to uh, create that because a lot of people think you can't measure exactly in Maya and you should use 3ds Max and that is so not true, right? Now, before we dive into today's video, I literally just came back from Switzerland where I uh, spent some time with my friends at Urban Studios. You know, the guys in the intro that runs in front of my video, right? Now, I knew these guys were great, but I had no idea what their skill set really was, and it blew me away. So if you're in the game industry, if you're in the movie industry and you need individual assets or you need kick-ass environments, definitely check out their website. And even if you don't, check it out anyway, okay? That said, let's dive into today's video. Okay, everybody, so we're looking at the scene right here, okay? And let's say you created something and you want to know the exact measurement or you want to adjust that measurement so it meets exact specifications, right? Now let's just go in here and take something. Let's take this uh, light shade, yeah? So if I click on it and I hit F the frame in there, you can see the regular uh, you know, controls. We can go up and forward, and if we hit R, we can scale it, and if we hit E, we can rotate it, you know, all that, right? But instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on Control and we're gonna hit T on the keyboard. As we hit Control T, we pull up the Universal Manipulator, okay? And this bounding box gives you a lot of information basically on all the values, rotation values, move values, scale values, and so forth. And you already see that we have a value sitting right there and right there. Now these values correspond with the colors of the molybdenum inside, right? So this 1.260 is the rotation value, right? Here we have the 1.10 and so forth. So if I wanted to rotate this guy, right, and I took this uh, blue rotation uh, thingy, yeah, and I started to play with that, you'll see that it's going to change the value. It says min uh, minus four, minus four and a half, minus five, and so forth, okay? So you can hit Control Z to go back. But what's even cooler is you can go in here and, for example, uh, grab the corner right here, and as you start to change that size, you'll see that that value changes as well. It's down here, right? It's kind of hard to see, but there you have it. I'll move it this way so you can see it better, right? So you know exactly to three decimal points what the width is. And I think that's a great addition to, um, yeah, your workflow if you want to make something uh, absolutely perfectly exact on point. Now, just to demonstrate that, let me just quickly create a new scene. Don't save that. We're gonna take, uh, I don't know, simple cube. Let's get in here. Let's hit Control T. There we go. And now it's one by one by one, as you can see, right? And you just start dragging here. And as you do so, and let me put it in a way that you can actually see that value, which is down here, yeah? And as you pull that, you'll see it will change, okay? So there's no more excuse to not model interiors or not model um, architecture in Maya, right? Let me know in the comments what you think, uh, whether you use this tool or not. And uh, before we go, one tiny addition, I forgot to mention that, pretty cool. Uh, let's get rid of this, hang on. So, if I create a cube like this and I duplicate it and I move it over and I uh, hit the shift D a couple of times, cool thing is you can grab all of this in one go, hit control T, and now whatever you do affects everything in one go. Sweet, right? Okay. Okay, guys, have fun with that and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.